What's up guys? So in this video, I'm going to talk about every single 90 degree turn method and execution style that I currently know of. So before anybody comments, uh, the 90 degree turn has been in the game for like months now. Yeah, I know, but there's no other videos on YouTube talking about different execution styles for this turn. I'm going to assume a lot of you guys watching right now probably already had this perfected. That's great, but I highly recommend at least trying these other variations which I'm going to be covering in the video. Also, when I say perfected, my definition of perfecting the 90 degree turn is basically being able to go four levels high, full sprint, and having your sprint carry over after your fourth jump. For example, something like this. So this variation of the 90 degree turn is no jumping, but sprinting through it. When starting out these different turns, I would recommend doing one at a time and then doing doubles, a few more doubles, and going to triples, and finally, the quad turns. So the next variation is going to be the same thing, but this time you're going to be jumping through it. Learning how to perfect this technique is going to keep your turns a little bit tighter. And keeping your turns tighter allows you to not hug the wall too much, so if you ever misplace a wall, you won't go flying off. So the next variation is going to be this one. Basically the only difference is that I'm placing that first initial wall down downwards and then placing another wall above it and that allows me to get really solid placements for my ramp and floor. Also the chances that you ever Harry Potter yourself using this execution style is almost impossible. This method of execution is probably the most common execution style for the 90 degree turn. The only problem with this execution style, you run a very high chance of accidentally Harry Pottering yourself. I think a lot of people Harry Potter themselves with this execution style because they didn't learn how to jump through it properly like the last execution style teaches you how to do so. This is the most common approach to creating an even more reinforced 90 degree turn. I use this one a lot, but there's another execution style which I'm going to cover which I use even more often. The only problem I have this turn is when you're aiming down to place that third wall, it kind of puts your point of view in a weird perspective, which will sometimes make you accidentally Harry Potter yourself. This is another method of execution I see a lot of pros using. A lot of the people using this method of execution are playing on a super high sensitivity, which I don't play on. So if you're on a super high sensitivity, I would definitely give this variation a try. It might be the one for you. But as you can see, it's not for me because of my sensitivity. This is another variation which works really well. The only problem is, is a bunch of ramps will always phase through your builds and place outwards. So if you want a variation that has random ramps placed around you like this, then this is the one for you. Before you do this variation, make sure you get a good stretch in because you're about to whip the shit out of your mouse. This is the variation that I use the most. I find it to be very consistent in wall placements and also it has a nice beat to it and looks badass. The only hard part about learning this is getting used to whipping your character's viewpoint left to right really fast and being consistent with that. So that basically covers every single variation that I know of that's currently in the game. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, sub, hit the bell so you don't miss out on a single other video. Anyways, I'll see you guys later.